Welcome to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is 10 things every couple should do to maintain their relationship. The one question I get asked a lot from people that I coach is how do you keep your relationship from becoming routine, mundane, a little bit on the boring side? How do you keep that sort of spark going between a couple? Because over the years we get busy at home with our family stuff, with our jobs, just with even our home, fixing up our home and doing all the things that we need to maintain everyday life. So what are the 10 things that I would suggest? So the first thing I would say is kiss and hug your partner every day. I'm not just talking about a peck on the cheek, I'm talking about a good kiss a good hug. Something where you stop and you talk to each other for a few minutes. Even if you've got a busy day ahead, you take the time to greet each other. Uh, good morning, greet each other hello when you come home from work. Those sort of scenarios. Just keep that always fresh. Another thing that I like to put out there to couples is that when you go to bed at night, you try to go to bed the same time. I know sometimes you might have shift work or things where you're not on that same page as far as your hours go with your careers, but as often as you can, try to go to bed together at the same time because this will always keep you close. It doesn't allow you to start living separately within your own home and that can happen when you're, you're not spending cuddle time or whatever in the bedroom at night before you go to sleep. Number three, text each other a few messages throughout the day. Say something nice, say something that you enjoy about your partner or something that might be happening later, maybe a little flirty text. Number four, compliment each other regularly. Notice new changes, notice new clothes, new hairstyle, maybe something that changed around the house that your partner took care of. Compliment each other and appreciate each other for what they do and how they come across and look sexy for you as well. Number five, work out with each other. Just have something that you do on a weekly basis that's energetic, that's maybe it's a hike, maybe it's a long walk in the neighborhood. It doesn't matter what it is, but it's something that you do together so that you can talk outside of the home. Sometimes when we're in our home and we're having little chats with our partners, it becomes a little bit routine about what's going on inside the house, whether it's the kids, what needs doing, d prepping for dinner, all those things. When you get outside with your partner, you actually talk more with each other. It's fantastic. But please also understand that it's okay to have separate activities as well. And I think this really helps a relationship when you do have a little bit of time apart doing things that you might like, maybe they don't, and then you come back together later on and you talk about it, you share what happened. Those kind of things are really good because you also miss your partner when you're away from them and you're not constantly feeling like you have to be at each other's side. Number six, have a girls or guys night out with your friends. I think it's really important to have this time that you appreciate your your other parts of your life as well. It's You've got an outside interest. It's not always about everything having to pertain to your relationship. And as I said earlier, when you miss each other a little bit, it's really nice to come back together and just talk about things and and you have more to talk about because you had some interests outside that you can share together. Number seven, have a daily debrief when you get home from your work. It's really good to be there for each other when you're going through stuff. Sometimes it's not always smooth at the office or sometimes you just want to talk to your partner about maybe what's going on because your mood is changing, you're coming home and you're feeling tense about things. Please always share these things. Sit down and talk about it for a few minutes every day when they come home. Whether you have a cup of tea together, you have a glass of wine, sit down and as I call it a debrief. Just talk about what went on in your day. It keeps you connected because you feel that you're a part of their life and they're a part of your life. It's not just about going to work and forgetting about it when you come home, ask for their opinions or advice and, and vice versa for both of you. Make sure that it's an equal situation and reciprocated. This is really important because you do always feel that you're a part of their life and that they care what you think. Your opinions matter. 
Number eight, plan a romantic date night each week. Take turns planning it, so alternate weeks. Something that maybe would be something a little bit out of the norm, a little bit out of the box, and just see if your partner would like to try something different. If you always have something planned with a little bit of fun involved and it's on the calendar, you stay connected. You always stay close because you've got something to look forward to and your partner's making an effort to do something that you're going to like and you're going to enjoy. This is something that I think is one of the biggest reasons that many couples do have longevity in their relationship because they understand that this really helps stay focused as a couple. And number nine, if you have intimacy in your relationship on a regular basis, that will also keep everything flowing. That is so important. And intimacy doesn't mean it has to be full-blown sex every single time. It just means you're, you're loving each other, you're holding each other, you're being romantic with each other, all the things that intimacy involves. And I really stress that this is an important part of a relationship that some people think it's okay to let go, but it's really not because that is one of the biggest reasons that a lot of couples don't end up making it for a long, long term. And number 10, always communicate with your partner. If there's any conflict at all that you're feeling, you're feeling a little bit strange about something that's going on in your relationship. Maybe you don't feel heard. Maybe you don't feel emotionally connected with them because they've kind of shut down a little bit. If you always open up and communicate about anything you're feeling, then you will always have an understanding with each other. The foundation of any long-term relationship is great communication. And that goes for physical communication, emotional communication, everything that can possibly go into a partnership. So if you start closing the door and not allowing them in and trying to work things out all the time by yourself, this makes your partner not feel as valued. So when you include your partner in everything that's going on, the good and the bad, that's what a relationship is then you will always have a really connected partnership because you care and you don't want your partner trying to figure out what it is that's going on with you. You're sharing what's going on. So in closing in today's topic, love is a commitment, which means you're each other's priority. And that's okay. It doesn't mean that you can't have other things in your life. It just means your partner's the top of the list and vice versa. If you can maintain this format with each other, you will always have a really nice bond. You will be very close and you're not going to come home going, oh, what, am I, what is going on? This isn't the same as when I married them. It's changed so much. Don't let it change. It takes two people to make or break a relationship. No one ever said that relationships were easy and there's a maintenance that should always be adhered to because when you do that, it's not a lot of work because it's just consistently happening all the time. You're paying attention. You're listening to each other. You're valuing, valuing each other's opinions and their happiness. And this is one of the best things you can do to have longevity in a partnership. So please understand the importance of these 10 things. They're small maybe to some people, but in the big scheme of things, they're huge and they will keep you together for a very long time. Thank you so much for tuning in to Dear Cyber City today. Please leave any comments. If you haven't subscribed, I'd really appreciate it if you could do so. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye-bye.